Praise the Lord. Good evening, Victory. It's good to be here today. We're here physically at the, our property, the Victory Church property, and worshiping from this uh, place today. And we're all here and accounted for. Everybody's healthy, healed, whole, delivered, and saved. And I trust that you are. And uh, man, I tell you what, I'm excited about what God has in store for us this evening. Looking forward to everything that uh, is said and done and sung. We're going to worship and praise God. Amen. This is a bright hour for the church. This is a bright hour for the kingdom of God. Amen. God is doing something powerful in the earth today. Amen. I tell you what, uh, at the beginning of the year, that scripture came to me so vividly in Isaiah. Behold, I'm going to do a new thing. Are you going to see it? Amen. And I said, yes, Lord, I'm going to see it. I am choosing by faith to see those things that you have in store for us. Oh, I'm so glad that the church is not down and out. Amen. But we are up and coming. Glory to God. We are possessed of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit lives in us, dwells in us, breathes in us, lives in us. Amen. And speaks through us, worships through us. Word of God tells us that you can't worship God unless you worship him in spirit and in truth. So we worship God from our born-again spirits being baptized with the Holy Spirit of God. That spirit inside of you crying out to the Spirit of God. That's what we're doing tonight. Amen. And God's got some great things in store for you. God's got a powerful uh, word for you. Amen. And it comes from his word. Amen. We don't have to go and search out uh, events or special people or any of those things, but God's word is more than enough. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I am excited about all that God is saying and doing, and I want us just to worship together tonight. Amen. And I know that God is blessing you and touching you. Go ahead in the comments section if you have things that you would like to say. Go ahead and comment. Send up those hearts, those likes, those all of those things, smiley faces, whatever you want to put on there. Amen. And just share it with somebody. Tell your friends and neighbors. I, I'm just so thankful for all of those of you who uh, watch faithfully every night and every service. We have so many people from all over the world that are watching. And uh, my heart is thrilled. And I'm getting reports from people and things people are uh, writing in and saying the goodness of God. Amen. That's what we're preaching. That's what we're singing. That's what we're believing. That's what we're talking about is God's goodness. He's not angry. He's not upset. He's not mad at us. Can you say amen? Praise the Lord. What a great and wonderful God we serve. These are the days of the harvest, 
the fields are all white in this world. And we are the laborers in your vineyard, declaring the word of the Lord. Behold, he comes, riding on clouds, shining like the sun, at the trumpet's call, church. like Jehovah. There's no God 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 no no no. There's no God like Jehovah. 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 There's no God and nobody else. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What an awesome God. What a wonderful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Give him glory. Give him honor. Lord, we're so amazed by your love for us. Father, we thank you. We are so amazed by your love. Let the love of God just flow over you. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice.
what a mighty, majestic God we serve. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Anytime, any place, you can stop and take a praise break. Amen. No matter what's going on in your life, no matter what the situation may be, go ahead and shout to the Lord. Amen. We're not shouting at the devil. We're not shouting at the problem. We're shouting to the Lord. Not because he's hard of hearing or because he doesn't want to answer. We're, what, the shout that we're shouting is not a shout of, oh, God, save me. It's a shout of, oh, God, you are the only yeah. God that can save me. And I'm crying out to you. Hallelujah. David said, in the day of trouble, I'll cry out to you. There's other places he said, it's good today, and I'm crying out to you. Amen. And he cried out in every situation. If it was a good time or a bad time, he cried out to the Lord. He said, I'll bless the Lord at all times. That means good times and bad times. And his praise will continually be in my mouth. That's what we're all about. Praise the Lord. I want to uh, direct your attention to, uh, just for a moment, uh, to our online giving. For those of you who uh, give online, some of you give uh, via uh, p uh, just the regular mail, those things, all of it greatly appreciated. Don't forget uh, your tithe and offering. You know, um, there's a report that's going around right now in the past six weeks, giving to, uh, the, uh, to, to the church is down by 70% uh, all across our nation. And uh, it shows that there's a lot of fear and a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, a trepidation in people's hearts and lives. But don't let the enemy talk you out of God's blessing. Amen. Don't let the enemy talk you out of what uh, God wants to do through you. We don't give to get, but we do get when we give. God never, ever, ever fails us ever one time. And so I want you to remember how, uh, that uh, it's give, giving is simple. You can uh, text to give. Uh, the instructions are uh, on the screen. There should be some instructions on the bottom of your screen how to give online, either through website or uh, text to give, different ways that you can give. You can also uh, send letters uh, to our physical address. That's 6301 East Parker Road, Parker, Texas, 75002. You're welcome to do that as well. Uh, but uh, remember, uh, whenever you're uh, giving to, uh, to give, there's a lot of uh, things that just simply continue on just, in, just as it is in your life. Uh, everything continues on financially, bills and all of those things continue on. So I want to just encourage you to, to give. We appreciate it, everything you've done. We appreciate it. And uh, so thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, as you give in the name of Jesus. We declare peace and blessings over everyone's life. And um, the word of God is so clear that God truly blesses those that are cheerful in their giving. And so I've learned to be a cheerful giver, and I know you have too. So thank you for it. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask Zach. He's got a verse of scripture he wants to share tonight. And uh, so you can uh, give, give him your microphone. Amen. And uh, uh, go ahead, Zach. What you got on your heart? Well, good evening, Victory Church. I am so used to the podcast that I have the mic really close to my uh, mouth. So sorry about that if that was really loud on y'all's end. Um, well, tonight, uh, you know, I've been reading and uh, studying the scripture. And uh, I know Dad has spoke on this a couple Sundays ago. But I just wanted to kind of... Uh, give you what was on my heart and it's a really powerful four-letter word and it's called hope and um, I'm going to read out of the ESV uh, the English Standard Version um, and some of the verses that I'm um, going to be uh, uh, speaking tonight just because it's easy to read and it goes along with what what we need so um, in Romans 5 verses 3 through 5 it says Paul says that we can rejoice in our sufferings because we are people of hope um, you know it says not only that but we rejoice in our sufferings knowing that suffering produces endurance endurance produces character and character produces hope and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us see not only did we get the greatest gift when Jesus died, dying for our sins, we also got the gift of the Holy Spirit. 
and that gives us hope, amen? So, um, you know, how can we have hope when everything around us looks hopeless, right? Um, there's a lot of people um, that aren't Christians that are extremely fearful, right? That's also a powerful four-letter word. Fear is a very powerful four-letter word, but I'd like to think that hope is more powerful. Um, you know, in the midst of suffering, we can rejoice because, you know, there it, it may be challenges, but we already know we win, right? So, you know, um, this is going to be quick, by the way, but uh, I think one of the best ways is we just rely on God's presence. Amen. As you can see, you don't need a church building to have God's presence because if you carry God's presence with you then rely on that and when fear comes you have something to rely on praise God right Amen. I mean I could end right there because that's just that's hope that's praise hope right the there that's what the word God. says right I mean amen and so rejoicing and suffering doesn't mean we're celebrating when bad news comes but it does mean that we can believe in God and that God is doing a redemptive work right this word redemptive means that God doesn't waste a hurt or disappointment. Amen. Right? You can't have redemption if something didn't happen. Right. He is using them to shape and build us into the image of Jesus, yeah. which is his highest passion for us to be like Jesus. God loves you. He's not mad at you. There ain't nothing that you have done that would make him not want to make you like him. And I don't mean like him as in an affection. I mean a mirror image, right? Psalms 23, 4, David writes that he does not fear because God is with him, right? So that means he relies on God's presence. So I just gave you a verse that's in the New Testament and in the Old Testament saying the same thing. How cool is that, right? And y'all remember Psalms 23, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, right? I shall fear no evil. Amen. Listen. I'm going to tell you right now, you are not walking in the valley of the shadow of the death. Amen. This, this, what's going on can't have you. You have hope. You have hope. Right? Another way um, that we can uh, do this is, uh, well, actually, I want to read one more Psalms, and this is in the NIV. I told you ESV. This one's in the NIV, and it's one of my favorites. But um, um, it says, um, Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Yes, amen, amen. And you know, if that doesn't give you hope right there, then I'm, I'm, the I'm running out of ammo, okay? I'm running out of ammo for you. I'm trying to give you some biblical ammo because when the news says one thing, when the doctor says one thing, when your friends say one thing, God says a completely different thing. And, uh, you know, we cannot determine God's love for us based on good or bad circumstances, good or bad circumstances. You know, me and dad used to have a joke. We heard a guy that was playing golf. He hit a ball really good. And he's like, man, God must be on my side today. Well, what happens when you shank the next shot? Did he forget about you? No, yeah. because God doesn't care about golf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so we determine his love based on what he did on the cross. Amen, amen. There is no other judgment of where, where his love comes from. He sent his only son for us, so Amen. he obviously loves us. We have hope now. Praise God. You know, another thing, we can rely on God's provisions. Amen. Right? In 2 Corinthians 12, 7, Paul says that he has suffered from the thorn of the flesh. Listen, media, everything that's going right now, that's a thorn in my flesh. Okay? Here's why. I can't get on any app, any, anything, whether it's social media, even games now. You know, I was playing Call of Duty with Jimmy, and when I turned it on, a message came on that said, stay safe, wash your hands. Yeah, yeah. I'm in my house, mm -hmm. right? If I haven't been going anywhere, I was, oh, no, my controller's contaminated, right? No. I mean, guys, in our current situation, God is saying that his grace is sufficient. Yes, amen. And we have a hope in that. Yes, and in Isaiah, when it says, by his stripes we are healed, he meant it. It didn't say, you're going to be healed. Amen. And if it says, you were going to be healed, then you're reading an interesting translation of the Bible, because my Bible says, you are. Amen. God is, you know, even when we feel weak, he's making us stronger than we ever have been before. Right. And we have hope. His grace is not just an idea. It is the person of Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the hell we seem to be going through may be very, very circumstantial and very evident and fearful.
but I choose to say, you know what? God's going to use this to take us to a whole new level. Amen. We just go and keep praying for America and praying for the people. Praise and then the last thing, the last thing, and I know I'm going quick and I know I'm dropping all these verses. Go read them for yourself. You'll, maybe you'll get the same message. Is we've got to stop relying on what other people's opinions are. Preach. And we've got to rely on God's power. I choose God's power over any man's opinion. Amen. Now, I'm not saying that doctors are bad people. I'm not saying that the people in the media that are trying to manipulate and all that understand the devil uses people. Yeah. And it uses, he uses social media. He can use anything and turn it evil. Okay? But in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Rely on power of God. Yes, you know, maybe our weakness is uh, the medical diagnosis that we got scared by, right? Fear. Maybe it's being insulted by things. I don't know, right? I don't have many examples. I'm just saying we have weaknesses, but we have hope that God's power is enough. And I just want to leave you with, you know, I want to leave you with this when it comes to hope. And, and, and I want to say this because I love everybody that goes to this church. I love my friends. I love my family. I miss you guys. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of junk. It's just junk, right? There's a lot of junk. But I want to let you know that the greater the enemy comes at you, the greater Jesus' power is in you, comes out of you, I should say. The greater the enemy is coming at us, the greater Jesus is coming out of us. So tonight, you know, I, I know that's a short, short, short version of something that I've been studying multitudes of. But uh, I choose to rely on God's present, his provisions, and his power. That's enough hope for me to go, you know what? When this is all said and done, there's no one going to say, I told you so. We're all just going to keep saying, thank God. Amen, amen. It could be worse, right? It could be worse. And tonight, you know, whatever it is that, that is getting at you, just understand that hope wins over fear. As long as faith wins over fear, as long as the power of God wins over fear. And I'll tell you this, the power of God is, is no comparison to anything that can come from this earth. Amen. He is so much greater, so much greater, so much more worthy of our praise. Amen. Amen. And uh, that, that's all I got. That's what I've been reading. And, um, you know, I, uh, I hope that it finds all of you hopeful. <laughs> I hope that it leaves you hopeful. And I hope that you read those scriptures that I said and, uh, you know, dig a little deeper yourself. Because um, the one thing that I have found is the amount of time I have now to read the Bible. And I challenge each and every one of you, if you spend as much time as you do on watching the news and Facebook and all that, and you read the Bible, and I know we're beating a dead horse by saying that, but I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, you are going to get more out of five minutes in God's presence in the Bible than you will five hours on anything else. And, um, you know, I haven't figured everything out. I'm 26 years old. But I have figured one thing out. It's that his word remains true. His power remains true, and that I have a hope of the future. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are saved by hope. The Word of God is very clear about that. So don't let your hope go. Amen. Hold on to it. Don't let the enemy steal it. Praise God. Good word, Zach. Appreciate that tonight. Amen. That's, that was a powerful word, and uh, praise God for that word. Amen. Now, don't forget um, the upcoming events here at Victory Church on the property. There are upcoming events. Trust me, there are upcoming events. Amen. This is not the end. Amen. There, we, there will be gatherings of people on this property, and you're going to be in those gatherings. Don't forget that as soon as we get the word, we're going to start promoting and uh, giving the, the day that we're going to meet together for the first time. And we're going to have an old-fashioned homecoming. We're just going to call it family reunion. We're just going to have a family reunion. Might even, you know, uh, just, just do nothing but just have family time. And uh, so we're looking forward to it. I was talking to... Uh, 
guy today that's, uh, that was in another state, and I was uh, telling him about what we're planning on doing. He was pastor. He said, man, that's, that's powerful. He said, I never thought of doing anything like that. And I said, well, I just want to see everybody all at the same time. We're, we're so used to doing it over the years that we just, we, that we feel like we've been just out of place. And so we're going to have a big time. Just be prepared. Just get your hope up. Amen. Because it's going to happen. I said, it's going to happen. Amen. God's such a good God. He's never failed us yet, and he never will fail us. Amen. We used to sing a song called, He's Never Failed Us Yet. And the, the truth of that song, a lot of people have made fun of it. What do you mean by yet? You mean you think he could? No, what I'm saying is every time you sing it, it's a new day. So he's never failed us to this point. He's never failed us. And uh, tomorrow he'll never fail us. And the next day he'll never fail us. The word of God tells us in 13.8 of Hebrews, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen. And so he's always the same. He doesn't, uh, you know, he doesn't, uh, the one thing that's good about God is he doesn't run this world by his feelings. Amen. Hallelujah. He just, he, he does it, he just does it, but it's just, it's command. And this is the way this thing goes, amen? But it's not by his feelings. And so you and I shouldn't live by our feelings. Don't forget this Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We'll be back right in this same place. Now, for some of you, you may not realize it, but we, every single night uh, at 7 o'clock, we do a short little, we call it praise break. And we just, it's always Ashley and Reggie, myself, Zach, different combinations of that group as we're uh, there. And so... If, you're, if you would like to just spend a minute or two praising the Lord, that's what we do. Uh, but this Sunday morning, 10 a.m., I believe God has given me a message. He's placed it on my heart. And I just, I've, gotta, I've got to get it out. I feel like uh, the prophet of old that said, it's like fire shut up in my bones. Amen. I've got to speak and, uh, because it's like fire shut up in my bones. So I, I believe God's going to touch and bless, heal, and deliver. Uh, and he'll do that for you right this minute. In fact, where you are right now, why don't you just reach your hand up to the Lord right now and say, Father, we give you praise and glory and honor. Father, I love you. I worship you. I adore you. Oh, God, I cry out to you. I call out to you. I know that you're listening to my every word right now as I pray. And, Father, I thank you. Oh, God, I give you praise. Just whatever words you want to say to the Lord, just begin to pray. Just begin to worship him. Father, we love you. Father, I glorify you. Father, I magnify you. I worship you. I give you praise and glory and honor. Oh, God, you're so good. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. I thank you for the renewal that you're sending to the church. Oh, God, I thank you for the renewal that's happening right now in the body of Christ worldwide. Father, I thank you that there is a renewal. Oh, God, faith is rising. Hope is rising. And I thank you, God. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you that people are being saved by the thousands and hundreds of thousands every single day. Father, if there's anyone watching tonight and they do not know you as their personal Lord and Savior, oh, God, let tonight be their night. If that's you and you say, man, I really need to be released from fear. I need to be released from the shame and the pain and the guilt of the past. God is with you right now. You may think you're in the most chaotic situation you could be in, but the truth of the matter is God is just as close as the mention of his name. I said God is just as close as the mention of his name. So why don't you call out to him right now and say, dear God, I come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. And I lay all of my life, the good and the bad, I lay it down at your feet. And I say, Lord, take me and use me. If you can use me, oh God, if you can use anything, then you can use me. I'll let you take my life, my heart, my hands, my lips, everything about me, oh Father. The way I think, I want you to change and rearrange. Oh God, where there's doubt, I'm say it, cast it out. Uh, where there is unbelief, oh God, clean that out of me. Where there's sin and sinful activities, oh Father, I repent. I turn from those things and I say yes. God, I thank you for forgiving me. I thank you that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. I thank you, Lord, that Jesus rose again on the third day and because 
of what he did there on the cross and from the tomb, I am saved. Amen. If you'll just believe that tonight, after you've prayed that, if you'll just believe that, then God has saved you. Amen. You are born again. You are a part of the family of God. So glory to God. And tell somebody that you gave your heart and life to the Lord. Will you do that? Amen. Before we go tonight, I want us to sing our theme song because God has been so good to all of us. And uh, we want to sing about his goodness tonight.
And we are praying for you and we'll see you tomorrow night. God bless you.